Chad is a country of many contrasts, folklores and wonders, with its plains, savanna, national parks and reserves, all constituting an enormous potential in terms of tourism. Fortified ramparts, quicksands, the Chadian desert, full of rock art treasures, mythical rocks, floating islands on Lake Chad, Lake Fitri, the Gelta Darche, the landscape of the Mulai country, hippos and birds of the Chari. Archaeology, zoology, ethnology and vision are the four key words which sum up the attractions of this country and which make it such an exceptional tourist destination. Chad offers its visitors a shortcut to the riches of the African continent and welcomes any traveller in search of an authentic and magical taste of Africa. Agriculture remains an essential sector of the national economy. Arable land represents 39 million hectares, or 30% of the national territory. About 2.2 million hectares are cultivated annually. The irrigable zones make up 5.6 million hectares, of which 335,000 are easily irrigated. There are vast subterranean water resources. Taking full advantage of these potential resources will enable the Minister for Agriculture to fulfill his main role. It's worth noting that the government does not intend the country's petrol exploitation to subtract from its vocation as a farming country. Chad is essentially an agro-pastoral country with great importance placed on cotton production. Agriculture is one of the leading sectors of the national economy. Arable land represents 39 million hectares or 30% of the national territory. About 2.2 million hectares are cultivated annually. With 17 million heads of cattle, Chad is one of the leading countries in terms of cattle rearing south of the Sahara. It accounts for 18% of the GDP and brings in 110 billion CFA francs each year. Fishing is excellent and the Chari Logon Basin is one of the richest fishing zones in the world. In Lake Chad, fishing provides a major source of income and employment. Even though agriculture and livestock raising form the pillars of Chad's economy with 80% of the population working in this sector, petrol, which has been exploited since the 10th of October 2003 in the fields of Doba and soon in Sedigui in the Lake Chad region, is opening up new and real economic perspectives. Education is one of the priority sectors chosen by the government. The education policy of Chad gives priority to basic instruction which comprises elementary learning, basic informal education and literacy. The subsector of technical and professional training comes second place in the government's list of priorities. There has been notable progress in the development of equality and access to education, in the improvement in the quality of teaching and training, and the education the system of the is better managed class as a priority sector remains a major preoccupation of the Chad government. A 20% increase is granted to the budget of the public health minister each year. Whether it's training, access to treatment or medicines, the health sector remains a major element in the development of the country. Public awareness campaigns have become part of everyday life, stressing the importance of hygiene, vaccinations, the fight against epidemics and especially AIDS. Out of 8 million Chadians, 75% benefit from health coverage.
The Zakuma National Park is one of the greatest and most beautiful animal reserves on the African continent. Even though elephants and giraffes are the most emblematic of the animals to be found there, the park is also home to 44 species of large mammals and 300 species of birds. Indeed, UNESCO is showing great interest in this park, which could soon become a World Heritage Site. On the 19th of July 2001, the discovery of Tumai, this ancestor of more than 7 million years, added another jewel to the crown of this rich tourist attraction, making Chad the cradle of humanity. N'Djamina is the ideal starting point on a journey of discovery of Chadian culture. Chad's multi-ethnicity is of capital importance. Each ethnic group has its own way of life, its own tradition and folklore. This multifaceted country is a real mosaic of cultures. The ritual dances performed by the National Ballet reflects the way of life of each region. With an eye to the future, the economic and cultural crossroads of the capital is becoming more and more modern. Today, it boasts sports centers, a modern university, and high-quality hotel facilities. But Chad is also a place of history. It was from Fort Lamy that Leclerc's troops set out to liberate Paris. Chad is a gold mine of hidden charms. Its natural landscape is of an exceptional beauty, and its folklore has remained pure and authentic. It's a dream destination for nature lovers. The beauty of the country is surpassed only by the hospitality of the Chadians who welcome visitors with open arms. Dalla, 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 Dalla.